Hello. 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 Okay. John and I survived last night. Yay. <laughs> I'm going to have to tune in. It sounds like I missed a heck of a time. Well, we, we hit it as Oscar coverage. Um, and the derailed. No, it's, I, no, derail would be saying that it was a bad thing. No, it was it uprailed. I don't know. Um, it was fun. It, it started off as Oscar coverage, and then we just went into other topics. And before we knew it, it was like we were live for three and a half hours, I think. And uh, but we were having a good old time. I could have kept going like all night. Um, like so. not all of our derailments are bad. Right. <laughs> like, they are good sometimes. Yeah, no, last night was a fun fun live. I, I probably should change the title of it, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> I have, the thumbnails are already made, so it is what it is. But uh, yeah, no, last night was great. Uh, it was a good, good time. It was me and Addie and Jules and and Cody. Actually, Cody was on camera last it, night. He was so cute with his giggling. Cody made it rare. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch. I started watching it today, and then uh, work. You know, got to do that. My employer requires it. <laughs> so yeah, no complaints from last night. It was really fun. Uh, Yay! Go watch it. All right, let me say hi to everybody. We have a lot to cover. Uh, we're going to talk about the show, which I have not, this was the first time I have watched Same. an episode of 90 Day Fiance since the, whenever the last time we did a recap was. So I missed this complete season. And I think the last time I remember recapping this show was when Nicole and Mahmoud, uh, were still on the show. Like, oh, wow. so he was arrested. I haven't watched. Yeah, he was. Yes, he was. <laughs> So I haven't watched it since then, and um, I didn't miss much, it seems. So, uh, but it was good to get our feet wet because Happily starts on Sunday, which okay. we'll be covering. So back, back, I didn't take any notes because I don't even, other than Gino and Jasmine, I don't even know these people's names. I, so I, we're I, in trouble tonight because I, I, I know face. Okay, so. Because and John wasn't really covering it or didn't want to, I haven't really been. I had it on, you know. I, I hope we can get through this. And I also didn't get to see the last half hour because I was just sitting in there going, "I gotta watch this quick." Yeah, <laughs> he well, said, "We're going." And we're we You didn't <laughs> miss much. Mine ended maybe like thirty seconds ago, and I put this on at six thirty, and it took me that long to get through it because I kept pulling. I mean, this seemed off. like it was a nineteen-hour tell-all. Yes. I was like, oh, for the love, come on. And we have Prime, so we don't have commercials. And it's yeah, still like 14 I'm, I'm hours. Watching it, I'm watching it on Prime, too, which is like the second <laughs> part. Like, you know. Uh, all right. So, let me, you know, so um, again, I'm working from the iPad, so I'm kind of limited. So um, I'm going to start at Barbie because that's the first name in the chat. So hi, Barbie. Hey, Mel B. Hey, Sarah W. Susie Q. Um, Rabbit of Chaos. Uh, Ruth Ann. Do, 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 do. Okay, Keila Bila, Nikki, Linda S, Pipsqueak, Christina B, Coco, uh, MTT. By the way, guys, don't forget to check out MTT's Amazon wish list. It's on my community tab. It's on her um, Instagram stories. Her birthday is on March 18th. Um, she, she's, she's my pregame <laughs> birthday. Uh, Cause then it's her March is a busy birthday for the John Yates ex experience. We had Sophie, Julie, MTT, and me very busy month. Although busy. I'm, a, I'm born in the proper part of March cause I'm an Aries and they, they're all Pisces, but that's okay. We'll hold against you. So yeah, <laughs> check out and check out MTT's Amazon wish list. She wants to get back on YouTube. Um, I think she wants to start, start doing some nails. So, uh, yeah. I, I noticed yeah. that. Check it out. It's, you know, it's stuff on there. It's not, straight. it's not like, it's not going to bankrupt you. Um, and there's that, there's that thing. Hey, Crystal Light, because I believe in me. Uh, perfectly Imperfect, hello. Let's see. Oops, scroll, Missy J. Jan Lu Jen Lewis, sorry. Um, Sheila. Alicia. Alicia. I'm getting tired of the roll call. Denise, <laughs> it sucks even more on an iPad. Barbara M, Matrix, Wendy H, 
welcome back, MW. I see that you, you MW was in the chat last night. So, uh, let me see. Jessica V. Two oh, Seraphim. I think, oh my God. Is there a lot more? I don't even know where I am right now. And the rest. Okay. If I miss something, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I this almost is, started singing the Gilligan. Not way Gilligan. too long. Um, so hi everybody. Just I'll switch you to see hi. I feel bad when I miss people though. Cat lover. Ellie. I think I got mostly everybody. All right. So Tanya. Okay. Let's start. Lots to cover. So can I uh, before oh, the? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait, say wait, something because I got some. Hold on, let me get you. Let me get you the proper credentials before you do it. Hold on. Thank you. Hold on. <laughs> Let's make this very official. <laughs> Hello again. Hello. <laughs> so, um, some people may or may not know that I am no longer with Law and Crime Network and I'm absolutely okay with it. The channel, <laughs> the network itself is blowing up. They were bought out by Jelly Smack and in that process, they're bringing in an entire new crew to really make the channel blow up more than it has. And I am absolutely 100% great with who is in charge of it and who is taking care of things and it's going to be great they're doing some stuff to see what will happen and if it helps you know the chats and stuff and i am absolutely okay with it and it was a great run and i will always be forever indebted to kathy russin and dan abrams for bringing me in and taking me a long ways a month and a month and two weeks away from seven years being with them. Wow. So, but we, I will be doing my own stuff and I'll be doing stuff here with John and maybe we'll do stuff together. And if anybody else wants to collab, we can do whatever, but we can make this community that we got right here bigger. So let's get to it. And don't worry about the rest. That okay. means you can dish and not get in trouble. <laughs> I, I, I woke up this morning or last night when we were having the thing last night, I was like, Oh my gosh, I can say stuff. I don't have to be, I don't have to hide. I'm <laughs> I love, it's not that I wasn't, you know what I mean? It, it, becoming from that and then all the stuff going on over here, I always felt like I had to hide. I don't have yeah. to hide anymore. It can just be me. I'm still not going to say anything to, about anybody. I don't do that kind of stuff. I don't get mixed up and all that, but I'm here <laughs> and I'm all John's. I'm sorry to hear that, Addy. I mean, and how much that meant, you know, you, you built that network. I think that's important to right. I, it took It takes a team. I was a very low, low. My rear end was dragging the ground on a totem pole, like I always say. I was the lowest person on the totem pole. And it took everybody to the top. And the network has just blown up. And it's awesome to see. And I'm very happy that it has happened. And we move on and we do other stuff. And I get to not be stressed. Seven. It was, a, it's a, it was a stressful job. I will admit it was quite stressful only because of me being on the spectrum and having to remember time. <laughs> 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 but here I am. And to all the people, oh, there's only one. Hi, Matrix. <laughs> it's okay. He's, uh, or, oh, Brianna Lynn. Hi, you guys. I got my chat open too. So. If any moderators on John's side would love to keep an eye yeah, on that. One of my mods switched <laughs> over and joined from Addy's side. <laughs> I not sure if my my moderators are probably asleep because we're used to we were morning people. We were doing it all at 5 30 in the morning. You know, oh you know, Pacific yeah, time. We're, we're streaming this on both our channels at once. So if one of my mods can go over to Addy's side because your wrench, if you're on my end of the chat, won't work. On and her. if you're in there, I'll make you if you're not, I'll make you a mod in there. But I think it, most of your mods are mods over there. And Addy, I just have to ask this because I know people will speculate, but this had nothing to do with anything about YouTube or nope. with this. No, or, it's fully, yeah. it, it, it's not, just has nothing to, to do with, over, with any of the stuff going on in any communities outside. There's more than one community that 
I have had issues with, and, and that's why I went quiet and didn't talk and have been, you know, I lay, lay low. It has nothing to do with anything from this one, from the other one or anything. It's just simply growth of the channel. And I was no longer able to keep up because <laughs> I am limited. <laughs> I am only, I was only a housewife mom who built a channel for Kathy Russ and his court chatter to help her become the court chatter. And then Dan Abrams found that and brought her in and she brought me in with her. And that's how it happened. So I finally, I finally hit the limit of where I was knowledge wise. And, <laughs> but yes, they now, I think it's, what is it? 5.8, 5.6 or 7 million subscribers. So, awesome. and there's four channels. Like the, there were four channels. Just working person. I like God, she, had to get up at five, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. every morning to be ready on Eastern time when she thought when she was specific time Ooh, to cover all the stuff. And, you know, uh, I'm sorry and I'm excited to see what's next for you, Addie. And well, I you're like next. See, I love to see more of you. So I'm not going to complain on that part. We're happy you're here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> sorry to all my channel people who are true crime people. I actually like both i like true crime and i like reality tv so there'll be a lot of that here hello yes. to every hi missy blush is there my moderators i see them now little shoes over there great hi wendy so i got people at matrix and curveal and if you want to give mel b a wrench addy oh yes are you mel are you in there go over there no oh All right, well, she said she's there <laughs> i'm gonna you know i'm gonna start the intro let's get into some stupid 90 day <laughs> Oh, and by the way, um, yes, I am still on my computer. I mean, no, I wish my uh, my iPad. As you can tell, my screen's like cut in half. That's how you know when someone's either on a phone or an iPad. Uh, and I know my sound has been awful, and my lighting's terrible. And I will probably have to drop down ten times because my mic will stop working um, <laughs> during the course of this live. So, until I get my a new computer, it's just gonna have to be the way it is. So, I apologize. Thanks for. Yeah. bearing with it and uh it, we'll get it fixed soon super All chats right. for a new computer are always welcome but never no, expect i won't it. get that till the end of next month no i need one now um <laughs> 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 I, mean, I don't mind the super chats but uh yeah all right so let, let's get into the shot where's my teeny teeny tiny shots you give your the oh, teeny I'll, tiny shot i'll always have stephanie next to me though, so. there we go <laughs> All right, so let's start with the tell all first because there's other, you know, I know there's some Angela stuff that people are talking about today. And uh, I this know should be fun because we haven't watched it. And outside of Gino and Jasmine, we're iffy on the names. Yeah, so this is going to be a very thorough um, <laughs> recap. Okay. Can you can you Google them as, I'll Google them as we are waiting. Don't even bother. Who cares? Um, <laughs> They're, they're, they're over. I the like chats them, can help us with names because I know they all watched. <laughs> so, so let, let's let's just get through the recap first, which will be kind of fast because of you know us not knowing anybody. Um, thank you, Wendy H, for the cash app. Um, so, all right. So, no joke. One of my followers messaged me yesterday, and it's like she goes, you know. Are you watching at all? I go, I haven't watched a show in like almost a year now. She's like, you kind of have to watch it. Gino and Jasmine are freaking out. I go, oh, that's new. Uh, you know, but she's like, no, I promise you, you need to watch it. And I'm like, fine. So I watched it and I, I just feel like it was later that day. Like, remember, like, remember the comic apartment 3G? It was always like the characters were there and like it was going on for years, but it was like later that day. Uh, and it's just the same thing with Gino and Jasmine. So I guess what we missed in all of our recapping that Gino and Jasmine got married at some point. Right. 
they all yep. both blocked me. So like when I'm looking at uh, Instagram, because I did have that expose with all Gino's whores um, on. Uh, <laughs> I can't understand why they block you for that. I mean. <laughs> so after I did that interview with the late with the ladies of the evening, Gino edition, uh, I got blocked by both of them. So I don't and, and nor do I care. Um, thank you, Mel B. Um, oh, that, that's for you, Addy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look up and say, which one? Oh, oh, that one. Oh, that that. <laughs> oh thank you, Mel B. <laughs> ball rolling. Um, so they got married. So how is she like loving um, Michigan, by the way? Is it everything she thought of leaving exclusive Panama and like the, the very expensive apartment she lived in? And, and more. Because I'm just going to say like, I didn't watch, I stopped watching about like episode five or six and Gino looks like he lives in total filth. I yeah. mean, I just, I mean, I did they show the inside well, of the he's house? A, his apartment was a bachelor apartment. Yeah, but he also everybody. looks like he lives in filth. Well, <laughs> he also, you know, he's, yeah, he's a special guy. <laughs> yeah. And... It just, so, you know, I can't imagine even in. Wait, let me, let, wait, let me, wait, no. Okay. So me and, me and Addy are sh airing this at the same time on both our channels. So like she if you send mine. a super chat, it depends on what chat you send it from. And that's where it will count. Like we don't share them. No. It, so a, thank you. We should be I'll able give, to share If them. it was meant for John, I'll give him 10 no, bucks. No, 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 no. Like, but like that. <laughs> We should be able to share them. I think that would be like a better like fit. But you know, good luck with YouTube on that one. But that's how that works. Uh, so go ahead, Wicked. Sorry, I cut you off. But I just, you know, I think he lives in Phil. So regardless of where like Jasmine may have started out with, I'm sure cleanliness wise, it was cleaner than Gino's apartment ever thought about being or townhouse or whatever it is. Yeah, but, he was um, bad about not flushing the potty. No. <laughs> Remember, he could be like a water conservationist or whatever, but it. I'll just do it know, next time. <laughs> like, or he got distracted. I would, bleach, away. I would have just like poured bleach on the walls and just let it run down. <laughs> <laughs> start from there. What, what were there like, you know, like yeasty underwear and pasties? <laughs> that's later. No, swinging that's from his from a ceiling fan type of thing. Like, probably you know, it was probably stuck to stuff. it, and like you know, he couldn't, he didn't turn it off, so he couldn't get it down. And <laughs> remember that cameo I did with about with Paul and Carini, and uh, uh, we were doing it. And I had like all like the, the clothes hanging, like going with the from the ceiling fan, like when Carini all had the dirt on her. Like that's how. And again, I didn't watch one second other than this tell-all. That's like how I see it in my head, Gino's house. Yeah. And it was like, it wasn't very modern. Um, it seemed like it seemed like a very typical bachelor pad. It was very like kind of dingy and not bright and light and airy. And I mean, even, and this isn't like a... I don't mean this the way it sounds like, you know, your apartment, it's like very well decorated. you got bright and light. Like his just looks dingy and dirty. Well, don't say I have bright lights right now. My, my lighting is less than adequate, but uh, <laughs> I'm going for like, the, I just came back from Cabo look and this is all just a great big tan. Um, and that's the look I'm going for at the moment. Yeah. But um, they did. When they got married, she did talk him into taking one picture with his hat off. And let me tell you, I meant to tell you this. Like, he is bald, bald, bald. And then... Did he shave, like, the patch? No. Like, it is like... It looks like a landing strip. It, like, goes from about... No, you know why he does that? Because, look. Because then... Yes. Yeah. It looks like you have hair. That's yes. why he does that. But, but it's not like... Like his sides, so like his hair is literally like this, like starts here, and then about your occipital, and then it's just like about this big and goes down. If he doesn't look ridiculous, then like hat or no hat. Send me a picture of it. 
I don't know. <laughs> I, I kind of need to see it. I'm not going to lie. Okay, let me see uh, if I can find it. I, I could never figure out if he was actually balding or like Bald, was like, like he shaved like his own he should just bick it and be done with it. No, I'm a big hat. I've wore caps my whole life. I played tennis. Like, you know, like, you know, I usually wear the cap because when my hair is too much, I can't take it. Like, like tonight, like it just, no. <laughs> Last no, no, no. night was the best about the oh, hair. <laughs> yeah. Like, so like, uh. But as soon as, when I saw that, like, landing strip he had, like, I think, like, two seasons ago, I'm like, oh, I know exactly why he's doing that. So when he puts his hat on, it looks like he has a full head of hair. That's the, that's the only reason why you would but do that. But he forgets that the full head of hair kind of comes around the sides, and hats only go to here. You, he still, <laughs> you can tell it's all bald here. You know, Barbara, <laughs> I keep telling people that I'm an angel, and nobody wants to believe me. I don't know how long I've been telling people this. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I just you know, like hello. Um, <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not like this this time. <laughs> I mean, like hello, the Lord Jesus Christ is telling you I'm an angel right now, and you all should be listening to him. Okay. Okay, where are we? Okay. <laughs> we know this ridiculous uh, patch of hair. <laughs> and yeah. so. Back to the uh, the tell all. Um, so there's bonus footage, I guess, of the bachelor party, and you know, I don't know when the tell all or the show quite turned into Maury or Jerry Springer. Um, <laughs> I don't know when I don't know when that bridge was crossed. All I know is that five minutes into this tell all, they have like the dancer like remote from the strip club in like the dressing room with the pasties behind her and like the, the tassels <laughs> and like like the thongs and i'm like oh no they do not have the stripper from the from 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 the bachelor party like you know i, I kept waiting for like you know i've got you know jerry springer's gone but like here oh here's the stripper come on out like like they did on, do that me. though they did bring her out Oh, they had her. She was backstage. She was at the at work backstage. They had her on. So <laughs> he, she said that he was a gentleman at the bachelor party. And like, could you imagine like, wait, I'm sorry, Eddie. I'm, I'm not <laughs> done with this yet. Could you imagine like production going into like the landing strip, like the film crew and all that to like go in there? And like film this woman, the, the stripper who was like this poor girl who just trying to make like an honest buck, who you know did some bachelor party, and now she's like on TLC Night A Fiance as like an expert witness to G to Gino's crazy bachelor party nights. But did you notice she also you. said like? I think she meant to say, I can assure you when that they drew this one up to you, by the way, if you're keeping track, go ahead. Sorry, wicked. <laughs> That's okay. You know, I think she was trying to say, you know, like I can assure you it, you know, nothing happened. You know, we didn't go outside the club. It was, you know, strictly professional, but the way she said it, it sounded a little odd. She barely remembers. I, she, I pro, she probably re barely remembers anything. Maybe she remembers because they were probably all like, oh, he's on this show, right? Like, you know, that's the only reason why she probably remembered him at all. But come on. Like. Or because there was a film crew there. Yeah. <laughs> come on. You know, and Jasmine lose. How many times did Jasmine cry this, sem this semester? Listen to me, this season. <laughs> um. Can we talk about how she doesn't ever have tears? Like she just screams at the top of her lung, boohoo cries, but never, there are never any tears streaming down her face. Oh, okay. Then maybe it was sparkles. <laughs> I swear. I, maybe I added the, them in my head. Well, she, okay. I'll just put okay, tears right there. <laughs> but yeah, she's a screamer. I mean, anybody in the chat, think that like okay like, so know, it was too much it's it goes too quick so if you go to episode 10 at the okay mm -hmm. wicked forget it i'm not going through all that right now so okay uh, text it to me text it to me later I, i'll be fine right. uh, 
but then I, I, I don't have my computer on me, so I'm kind of like, I can't. Okay, I'll try to. Um, Jai's been about to cry as much as Rob's sister. I, I just, I can't with her. Does anybody think like that, you know, it was a bachelor party, and, you know, and knowing, you know, Gino knowing Jasmine probably should have been like, maybe like, let's go play Yahtzee tonight with the boys yes. or something like that. You know, Lord knows he's, he's seen his share of people that he's paid for. <laughs> uh, but that's Gino. Do we believe that Gino and Jasmine never, uh, that he never breaks the plane if you're picking up what I'm putting down? No. So do, do, do we, do we, so, so we believe that, that Gino is actually penetrating her? I think that, I mean, he, he hasn't spoken about the blue, ba the bag of blue pills in a while. So maybe he's used them all. I don't know. No, but <laughs> I, I kind of see. I I kind of feel like maybe once I saw a face of, we finally did on him, <laughs> but I don't think it's very often. Yeah, one more. All these beautiful, gorgeous, and like Jesus Christ, can we get a before and after of Jasmine when her first season and now, she, Jasmine got the full Larissa makeover, right or wrong? Oh, hundred percent plus some. Yes. I mean, she got the boobs, she got the butt, she got the lips, she's got the fillers. It was a huge yeah, like her difference. face, it's all contour. Like, remember she had like all like the, the pockets, what do you call it? Like the acne, she had like, you know, bad acne. Yeah, she, uh, yeah, she didn't have a good complexion. She's been lasered, she's been Botoxed. Um, that, that face has seen more knives than the kitchen at <laughs> Benny Hanna's. I'm just saying. You are not even joking. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at her. She's completely different. She's so, why are you so mad and bitter, girl, all the goddamn time? Why? Why are you so mad? Look at you. You, you, you completely like redid your whole body. And then, like, she gets upset because he's hugging a stripper because her breasts are touching him. But she had the ex boyfriend pay for part of a butt. Yes, one of those cheeks is his. Exactly. I mean, granted, <laughs> she said it was only two thousand dollars. I don't believe that. No, one of those cheeks is hers. Is his? Yeah, her, I believe yeah. he's and the sad part. More. The sad part is that she probably got most of that work for free. I, I oh. would say 90% of that work was gratis, just so mm. like to promote. Because listen, I'm not new to these streets. I know how this works with, with the cast. And uh, yeah, there were people who, <laughs> a couple people, like Dr. Jen, one of them, she she helped, you know, she works with a lot of 90 Day Fiance stars. Um, they promote her. But see, though, she got all the work done in Panama. Cheaper doctors then, right? Maybe. Maybe. Isn't, that, isn't that the case? Like usually, like I know that there's a big thing with going to Turkey for new teeth, right? So, um, <laughs> the people go offshore, abroad, 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 abroad. That's a hard word to say. Abroad, abroad, uh, abroad to uh, to get their <laughs> stuff done. But I mean, you know. This is my take on it. If I'm going to get work, do I really want to go to like a budget plastic surgeon? No. I wouldn't. <laughs> no. Like Darcy and Stacey got their, their dental work done in Turkey. Um, Those are some teeth. Shark and teeth. they look yeah. so natural. There's actually look. I, I never know. Uh, <laughs> I loved it when she when uh, uh, Stacy uh, sent her sharpened teeth picture, the, the, the teeth grin <laughs> to Florian. <laughs> Stacy or uh, Darcy just had some more work done. She posed, "Oh, I'm here to get all snatched." And Stacy's a tiny waist now. She's yeah, all it's small. I sometimes think that Stacy gets the surgery because she and Darcy, like, you know, they're the twins. Well, they so have to, like, be, like, they have to, like, still be identical twins, right? Right. So if one goes overboard, they're not going to match anymore. Right. And I think that's what, I think Stacy doesn't do as much work, but I think she does it so that she still looks like her sister. Yeah. And Darcy's always the one that has to be the tallest. She has to wear the highest shoes. She has to have the most 
everything done more than the sister. She has that thing going in her mind with her sister and it's <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, it's just odd. Hold on. I'm going to have to talk that way with, way with juniors, junior B. I've never seen vertical line eyebrows apart from Darcy and Stacey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Uh, but yeah, all right. So Jasmine, why is Jasmine so upset all the time? Like, can we just answer that? I she think got, that got, she's... Like, head to toe, body, facelift, like, I don't even know. Her own mother probably doesn't even recognize her anymore. I think she's um, very insecure. Um, I think that... Gino has given her reason not to trust him, but I also think that she projects a lot of his issue, her issues onto him. You know, she's always throwing the ex up and I'm sorry, they, she's still banging her ex. She was banging Dane until she. Oh, was, oh of course. Oh, that hot one in the big, in, in the big expensive apartment building. Oh Yeah. You know, and she I wants mean, like, to get upset because, you know, Gina, Gina lies to her. But in the same fact, you know, she's always, oh, well, you know, he was a better lay than you. He, you know, da, 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 and it just, they're very everything toxic. Everything with Jasmine has been so, oh, and that's my issue with this show. My, my issue has been, which I've been very vocal about, that everything is just so over the top of Jasmine. Like, like with, with the toothbrush, she's like, and giggles, your toothbrush. Ah! <laughs> Oh yeah. I mean, you know, and she should not some she should not she is like an ugly cry if she were to oh, cry. An, an ugly cry is not even the word that's being generous. Like like not in, like I want to know when she's really ugly crying. Like when like when the tears are when really it's for real of those, of those dry eye ducts. Yeah, I mean, that, she that, just screams at the top of her lungs and at this point I think Gina is just like all right. Maybe she can't of cry her. anymore because she had just had too much work. Maybe like the eye ducts just they're just they dried out because she good can't. point. Maybe they're clogged. I, don't I think know. he's or scared to death of her. You see that one scene or she was cutting up food or whatever, and she had the knife in her hand. <laughs> she up the stairs, but I can't. All I could focus on was the knife in her hand. What is she gonna do? It looked like she was gonna come at, come after him, and he has the face. He always does this I, scared to death face. And also, I understand that if you get bitched at all the time, the way he does with her, you wouldn't be able to. Yeah, put she's very body. emasculating. Yes, and I think she does that on purpose to him. I think so. She, but she, I mean, would, you, would you guys say that Gino might be considered a victim of Jasmine? Yes. No. Yes. If you've ever been screamed at a lot, <laughs> yes, recognize. Well, I mean, the they're both toxic to each other, like other people we know. <laughs> I feel my horns growing out of my head. Uh, no, I need my, yeah. I need my, I need my angel power to like get it yeah, back exactly. to center. <laughs> Junior B says he's a willing victim. You oh, know, a oh well, I, I, love, I mean, yes, you know what? I like that. A willing yeah. victim, yes, I think he does stay for a reason, yeah, yes, but still, it doesn't make make it doesn't mean it, she's not he's not being victimized. When I mean, even some of the, the people on the stage were recognizing, and they even said, We see how she treats you, so that it is, yeah. it is there, we see it. But I wouldn't call him I'm a victim. Myself willing I would. Him, so I if you've that. been yelled at <laughs> as much as you. <laughs> but, I, but how much is it? I just, for me, the show well, is let's just... talk about it for a second. For a quick second. I mean, oh. you know, Gino certainly has seemed to do his share for Jasmine to make her happy, no? I would agree. Right? You know? He takes vacations within vacations. Within vacations. Within vacations, yes. <laughs> like you know when gino has to book a vacation it's like okay so here's the the first part of it and then you have to go to the super exclusive part of the next part of it then the part that no one's ever heard of and then you have to go fly in in a rocket ship with with uh, uh what's his name the one who runs twitter musk elon elon um, yeah um, so you, you would say that and, and then and uh jasmine uh how does jasmine 
What is that? Oops, the Pepsi. Breathe, John. Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, Lord. Um, but no, um, to say like, is he a victim? Yes. Domestic violence? No, not yet. But he is a willing victim. But, but also does domestic violence isn't just hitting domestic well, violence. That, is that being that I <laughs> well, I would say that like Jasmine has been pretty aggressive with Gino. Yes. yes. Oh yeah. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? But I kind of no. think that he kind. I'm gonna. I I'm just gonna be put it. I think that G, that Gino plays the child role, which is why they baby talk to each other because they, he. So I kind of think he kind of likes the parent parental thing she does with him. She. It's a whole thing. I feel it. I see it, and I can tell. Because when they get into it, they start the baby talk stuff, and I'm like, oh, I, I'm, I kind of do that with my husband, but and we agree I'm you're, a girl. If you need different. to give Jasmine a freak number. I'm gonna say her freak factor is like a ten. And would we agree here? Oh, well, she she pisses on him, and like his if if he's like a ten, the only time he got off was when she peed on him. Yes. So his at a twenty, but that's beside the point. Um, <laughs> Would you agree with Perfectly Imperfect that yes, uh, MW. <laughs> that was verbally abused? Wait, ask that again. Say that again. Sorry. Would you agree with Perfectly Imperfect's comment that Gino is verbally abused? Yes. Yes. When no. she turns around and says, I would rather be effing Dane, or she says that stuff to specifically hurt him, he's being and she yells and screams at him and she calls him idiot and all the things even if he has you know some issues going on which i do think he does but uh yes yeah, so you she scream screaming at him is that he's not screaming at her he, when he does you... when he does kind of try to go you know do that she screams louder <laughs> hey dish with Mitch, hey, emily um, so, okay, so then, we're, and we, we've all seen Jasmine, like, put hands on Gino. And yes. now you're telling me about a situation with her having a knife? Well, she, she was cutting, she didn't do anything with the knife, but it, she, got, she was well, cutting food and she had the knife in her hand and all I could think of, oh God, she's like <laughs> screaming at him, but she's. And she's clenching her teeth and upset at the whole situation or whatever it was that they were talking about. But all I could focus on was the knife. I couldn't even focus on what they were talking about. And he, the look on his face was like, and so she eventually puts the knife down and storms up the stairs. I can't remember exactly what it was she was talking about with him, but it had to do, it may have been, it may have been when she found out about the bachelor party. But he also like, she takes it from like zero to a hundred and like a millisecond. So Do you see where I'm going with this? I mean, come on. And so we witnessed Jasmine be just awful to Gino. But who came willingly to the United States. And you're only helping my point. Um, so we we have a record of now what four seasons of Jasmine just being awful to Gino, mm -hmm. and here we go screaming at him, putting hands on him, threatening him, throwing his stuff out the window. This doesn't sound familiar at all to anybody who else is making news in the hmm. ninety day fiance community right now. Doesn't sound familiar, <laughs> and. I'm pretending. Um, I mean, oh, I mean, I have no idea. And look how much support <laughs> Jasmine has. I would say Jasmine has more support than Gino. Oh, yeah. I and think I, the I, reason I, I for that, that is because. I'm sorry. I don't know. Because um, every, because J Jasmine comes on and she says, well, it's my L Latina personality. 
she were they're big and bold, yeah, bold and, and i'm a loud i have a big personality and people from the south they have their own different type so, of big personality i think it's ridiculous so. yes i agree and i know I, right where you're going i finally caught up it's just crazy <laughs> to me that we've all watched jasmine just be a big bully to gino and gino spend more money and gino get me another trip and Gino, this is bullshit. When let's not forget that Gino found Jasmine on a hooker site. True. Because you know what they say, you can put lipstick on a pig and it's still a pig. <laughs> yeah, you can't turn a hooker into a housewife. So it's just wild to me to see all these people against Angela who they say the same thing. Angela abused Michael. Angela yelled at Michael. Angela bullied Michael. But, huh? Yeah. But here we have Jasmine literally doing the same exact thing. And everyone's pro Jasmine. It could Am be. Am I wrong? No. It could be that Gino and Angela aren't favorites of the 90 day franchise. So, and I mean, I kind of think, I think someone is trying to step up into the role of. I think they're trying to make themselves a bit. Oh, everybody's trying to take Angela's crown. Like, yes, we all I'm know trying to say it without saying it. <laughs> I, I, I was trying. And again, I will say a million times that Angela's no saint. No, no, yeah, no. no. And, and like, you know, I've called Angela out plenty. I know people want me to abandon ship and like, you know, because I'm the only one defending her in the whole goddamn world right now. But that's fine. It's not my first time doing that and it won't be my last. But the similarities between Jasmine and Angela are, I mean, are y'all watching what I'm watching? And honestly, I wonder how much of Jasmine's is for the camera. Because it's if you watch that. Gino and some of the, like, when they were driving down the road, this was this season, and... She finds a lip gloss and she loses her shit. And you can see Gino driving just like, okay, we're going to go through this again. And just like his body language and what he he's putting out is not like, oh my God, no, of course, honey. I didn't have a girl in my car who may have dropped some lip gloss. It's like, are we going to do this again? I thought maybe it was his. <laughs> It could have been. <laughs> At one point, I went, wait, wait, maybe he dropped it. <laughs> but, you know, and let, I will say, we don't see what, we see what TLC shows us. Right. We don't see how that person is off camera. We don't see what their relationship is off camera. We don't know if Gino is truly this horrible, evil person and Jasmine's a saint for putting up with him. I think they're both equally awful, to be honest with you. I, I don't like either of them. But my point was that, like, this, there's too many comparisons. And, like, I cannot understand all the love that Jasmine's getting when she's doing, according to everybody, the same thing that my, Angela's doing to Michael. But Angela's Satan and Jasmine's a saint. I wouldn't say saint. Saint. She well, might be I mean, like I know, I know what I'm Lucifer doing. versus I'm Satan. Satan. So, <laughs> but, Lord, um, and my, you know, and it's fine. I get it. I've been at this for a decade now, and yeah, I, you know, I listen. You know, it's old hat. I me. mean. Like but. her coming into the, you know, because even my mom said it when she was drinking her water, she's like, <laughs> my mom was like, she was like, oh my God, like 10 seconds ago, her, her hand went and shaken. Now, let me ask you another question. Since I didn't watch this season other than this last part two at all, I didn't watch one, I didn't watch anything. Um, 
can you tell me, like in Gino and Jasmine scene together, were they happy as clams? Were they were they la- na- navigating life together and just so happy with each other? It was always no. leading up to the next fight, in yeah. my opinion. It was always about the fight. It was always about her I getting through that. I, I already knew that before you answered it. I just had to. Yeah. I, I, just I had think she's that. hoping that they get into a fight and then just have crazy sex, but that doesn't happen either. She wishes that it was like, uh, uh, what is it, or Ashley and Manuel? Yes, I think that's what <laughs> How she's, they they yeah. fix things with Nookie. Exactly. I I think like she said, she's hoping, she's hoping they pound it out. <laughs> oh, and by the way, yes, thank you, Sheila. Wait, um, we have the where is Jasmine's kids? By the way, did we speak on? Did, did they speak on that? They're there. They're with well, her when family. Jasmine, when, when Jasmine they're with her, took their the, father. When Jasmine I mean, took the yeah. Larissa route, she took the Larissa route. Yes. Like, yes. Kids, plastic, sir, and no shade to Larissa. I love Larissa. Um, but I'm just you saying, too. you know, because people always say, John, you're biased. And, you know, I'll, I'll listen, whatever. But, I mean, like, you also have the whole kid thing. So now Jasmine's living this fabulous life in asshole Ben, Michigan. I don't know where the hell they are. Um, but wherever it is, uh, it's very cold. But how many oh. years has Larissa been here? Oh Lord, since 2018. This and year? her children are no closer to getting here than no. I, I don't. I don't. I don't think that will ever be the case with that. I, I'm just using the Larissa thing as an example because Jasmine kind of. I'm like, and it's another thing, you know, that people are letting her get away with. That like, you know, I remember, you know, I'm, I'm friends with Larissa for years and I've defended her for years. And the biggest thing with them, you left your kids, you left your kids, you left your kids. That doesn't seem to be, be thrown in Jasmine's face as much as it did Larissa's. Yeah. And this whole abuse, verbal, all that stuff, that, that certainly and, is not talked about as much as Angela's. But um, I, I and think Jan- that Jasmine's like the culmination of like all of them together. She has a special needs child. One of her boys is special needs. I believe, I would I think the way she described it is yes, on the spectrum. Because she did mention to Gino because he said that he really wanted a child. And she was just like, No, I'm just too afraid that I would have another special need child and I couldn't go through that again. You know, I I don't she didn't say what the need yes. was, but apparently he gets bullied and I felt I, I I had the feeling it was what well, I think it, he's on yeah. the spectrum. Yeah. And I kind of think so. I'm sorry, but I've always said it. I think Gino rides the spectrum too. So there you go. <laughs> I just well, see a lot of myself. Daddy is on the spectrum. So that's yes. fair. I that. see it. And that's why I say it. <laughs> I, I, I don't okay, want to He's nonverbal. <laughs> but yes, he is nonverbal. And I think Gino. Is Gina was saying that he wants to be a, a dad to the boy, and their whole goal is to bring them to, to America, both of the boys. It, and I don't know if we'll see it, but that's what they're saying. But I mean, even when he goes to Panama, we don't see them with the children at any given time. I mean, we don't even see him on the phone with them. Like, hey, buddy, how's it going? They did, they did um, a whole thing where uh, it's the one that was verbal. They have not shown the other one on screen, um, but the one who was verbal, she was with him. He did speak with Gino. I can't remember which part it was. I don't think it was this, this show, I think it was the one prior, because they yeah. keep showing up everywhere. I'm getting kind of tired of them popping up everywhere. <laughs> Every time I that it's their scene, I I actually go, uh. <laughs> and then I have to stop the TV five billion times. Well, so I can yell <laughs> at her. She makes me yell like Cody makes me yell. <laughs> so. I don't know. It just yes, Susie Q. I agree. She doesn't want them on TV. She did have one of them. He did show up at one point, and there was a whole conversation with the family. He was with her mother, I think it was, or something like that. The point is, is that there's a lot of similarities between yep. different cast members, and people just seem to look the other way with certain people. And you know, I I could look at Jasmine and see just. You know, because everybody wants to remind me of all the things that Angela's done to Michael 
And then here I am talking about this, and then I'm reminded of all the horrible things that Jasmine did to Gino. And everyone's kissing her, the tell-all, they're all like, you know, and no one's saying, Jasmine, why do you overreact all the goddamn time? Jasmine, why are you never happy? Jasmine, you look completely different. You must be getting something out of this. Hmm. You know, I don't know. I, I, I'm just saying, I, and I didn't make, I didn't even mean to make this whole thing a comparison, but as we were talking about it, I was like, huh. This oh, I made the comparison in my head. I've always looked at it like the show, I kind of feel the show is trying to make her be be the next, and there's not going to be a next angel. There's only one. There's only one queen. <laughs> and But I think that they're trying, and I think she would love to be but I don't think. I don't know what you're asking me here. What does that mean? I don't know what that Can means. I please see my Jimmy New Tribe very down? I don't. Okay, I don't I know. Don't. I'm sorry. Is that? A, <laughs> are you a real person or a bot? I don't know. That was very bot like. <laughs> English, please. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's just like, you know, Jasmine's getting away in my books with murder. And I do agree, you know, Bianca. The way, the way she's been acting and, uh, and and you know, and because I am so close to Angela and I, I am the only one defending her. And I was looking at this and I'm like, hmm, like, but okay, it's a fight for Jasmine to do that to Gino. And like my question to everybody when they come to me, I, you know how many DMs I've been getting and whatever. And like, you know, at this point, I don't care, you know, um, but... If Michael was so miserable with Angela, and this is a question I ask everybody, we've been watching them since 2018, since the first season of Before 90 Days. We've watched them every year. They were on either once or twice a year. They were never not on the air, right? Um, since 2018, we're in 2024, six years. Um, you know, Michael was in Nigeria. He was safe. He could have stopped, he could have told Angela, I'm done with this a million times. But no. She would leave, they come, she'd fly back, they'd film, they'd be okay, they'd fight. She, you know, and we, we went, we saw it happen over and over and over again. So if it was as bad as it was, why did Michael leave his country where he was safe, where his family supported him, where he had friends, to move to the middle of nowhere, Georgia, to be with Angela? I think it's funny because people are like, well, Angela would have went to Nigeria to get him and drag him on the plane. Nigeria is a big country. It's not even about Nigeria. Like I've, like I've been out with Angela, like, you know, <laughs> um, a lot. And she can get any, you know, I don't want to say she can get anybody she wants because, but like, you know, I've seen like people throw themselves at her. Uh, I'm like, damn girl, you got game. Uh, <laughs> was, you know, um, so like, why would he put himself in that position if he was so miserable for six years and just a constant abuse, yeah. just like Jasmine and Gino? Cause there was, it, it's not, the, uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> he went, he left and now, and then he's there. So nobody can answer that to me. You know, because he liked being on TV. He liked he liked getting that money, mm -hmm. right? Why didn't he live in New York? New York's a big city. Been easier so, to escape in New York than it was Georgia. It is what it is. But talking about Jasmine just now makes me realize that, you know, people just want to hate Angela and... You know, the same things happen to Jasmine. I don't see YouTubers and bloggers going live about how great, how Jasmine's abusing Gino every day. Don't see that. Um, so there's that. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I and someone asked you a great question. What is it that keeps these couples together? Because the, but like the people in other countries, they don't make the money, right? It all now goes. Oh, now they do? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I yeah. do agree with what Dish with Mish said that Jasmine is playing the long game too. Yeah, of course. You did yeah. that. Look at look at how much Jasmine's got out of being with horrible 
Gino, who can't fulfill her, who won't enter her, who, like, she's lucky that she gets sex once a year. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jasmine. You're so put upon. Oh, my God. You're really going through it. Oh, my God. A stripper and a bachelor party. Mm. Like, my heart is bleeding for you, Jasmine. Bleeding. Let's start a GoFundMe for Jasmine. (laughs) It's probably a good thing I missed this whole season because... It would have been this, and uh, this is me watching this for like 30 seconds. True. Uh, she I'm, got, I'm uh, don't forget she had her uh, vaginal rejuvenation surgery. Oh, because you were loose. <laughs> oh. I just. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Gracie. E- even her kitty cat's tighter, thanks to, Jaz- thanks to Gino. And it, we know it's not from Gino entering her. We know that from Jasmine, right? So it, it's not it's not this. Uh, so there's that. Oh, Lordy. Didn't think we were going to go here on this conversation, but okay, I'm down with it. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know. But I have to say, like, I, I hated most of the cast this year. The only one I liked is I really liked Ashley and Manuel. Um, She is, she's very sassy and direct and I just like her. She's got some good vibes about her. She took over the, the tell all. I wasn't, I wasn't upset at usually if that, when the book, there's a vocal, one of them, I'm kind of annoyed. I thought she was being like a little extra. A little. I just I, I okay. Thought, well, she. I mean, but I like her personality. I like yeah. strong personalities. That's why I like. Oh the yeah, queen. no, she's got a strong Angela. personality. But I, I think you know she has a strong personality from what I witnessed on the show. But like, she was overusing it. And again, I don't know her from Adam. It's just my thoughts on watching this, like like one an hour and a half of the last episode of the tell all. But I just thought like she was trying a little too much to be like you know like the mm-hmm. like you but know, I, I think I, I, she I, also felt a certain way about whatever his name is um igor justin igor, igor. yes calling, AKA justin. Justin. <laughs> um she felt a certain type of way about nikki and again can we look at igor and nikki because Nikki also yells and screams and da 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 da, and you know. Today I'm going to talk. Tomorrow I'll be quiet. <laughs> you need to do that in your best uh, Moldovian accent. I don't really talk like Andre. So I don't know what they, somebody what somebody on. called him Just Gore. I can't remember who it was. Well, I don't know where Nobody's I saw that. But I thought from that was... Moldova, I hear uh, like listen, like you know. I didn't watch the season and I can't really be that objective about it. Um, I, I, I can speak on Jasmine and Gino cause I'm, you know, right. familiar with them. Uh, but as far as everybody else, like, but then, then they, they say that they're, you know, she flew over there and they're still engaged and they had sex and the mom comes out and like, do you love my daughter? It, it, like it, this, this whole tell all was like a low budget Maury episode. And Sean was like, didn't have the Moriness in her to do it. Like I was waiting for like, you know, the results are in envelope to fucking come out. You know, like, <laughs> like what, well, who's the pregnant one uh, with the, the creepy redhead guy? Who's Sam and uh, Citra. Like Sam when, and Citra. When they announced that like uh, Citra was pregnant, I, I kept waiting for like, you know, Sean to have like the DNA test results, like in, in a- <laughs> yeah. I mean, but, you know, <sighs> Sean. What's, is- that, what's that creepy redhead guy's deal? Like, what what did he go to jail for? Or drugs? What was that drugs. A- he's an yeah. a, a, a recovering addict right now. He's a, he's on a diversion program. Yeah. He, he didn't fill out his paperwork in time. And so they weren't sure if he was going to make it. If he didn't show up at the tell-all, it means he was going to be in prison for up to, I think it was like, what, two years? And when was this drug charge? Uh, was it while they were 2019? Filming? I think I, I think it was 19. Okay. Don't quote me. Anybody oh, in the so chat know? I think it was 19. So another, but, successful, another successful vetting process by casting. Yes. Very. 
And he he dropped the bomb on her um, that he what when they first met and were first together that he had a one night stand. And I guess she says he made it seem like it was an almost thing, but something freaky happened. And so he took off and it never was a thing. But he says he told her that they did go all the way and all this stuff. And and so but they're all like, but we're even though she finds out on the tell all that he did, in fact, go all the way with this girl. And she still says, we're okay. We both monitor each other. I think they're on the 360 app together. <laughs> I think so. And that she, you know, keeps up with him and <laughs> makes sure he's not out there straying. Yeah. But he's all like, I don't have time. I'm working. He's probably working a couple jobs. I don't know anything about this Sam guy, but I had a nightmare once about a creepy redhead st standing over me, like taking my kidneys out. <laughs> and I think... Aww. <laughs> like you know like black black market like taking my kidneys out to sell them <laughs> and like i saw him like oh my god that was the guy from my nightmare like that's like but can I, we like, just talk about how people whose first language is spanish is calling out justin igor because they're like dude you're awful you're terrible like get rid of him come on and again, like I didn't, I didn't watch the season, but like I didn't think that whatever Igor was saying was like too horrible. But I don't know. I thought he was being like fair, but again, I don't know anything. So I really. But Nikki is a lot like Jasmine, where. Uh, well, then case closed. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't where they're more. driving down the road and she just, you know, uh, that's how we express ourselves. Okay. Yeah, their situation is um, they've known each other for 17 years. They, and or, she started the, like, how old is he? Because when she said she started the K1 process, it was like 20 years ago. And then she had her bottom surgery, like, not too long ago, really. I think, I don't remember what year she said it was. So he knew her prior to that. So how is it? I, I for a long time, I thought maybe he kind of wanted the, he kind of liked her pre. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to figure oh, it out. So what I've you're tried. saying is, is that he wanted a chick with a dick. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes, that. <laughs> I'm trying to not do. <laughs> but I mean, it just was. I don't know. That's just my It's thought. very odd, you know. And and I get that there's a culture language, but he, he was incredibly disrespectful. And I think that's why Ashley was like up to her eyeballs. Cause she was like, you're not going to disrespect this person. I liked Ashley. I do too. I like spunky. So I like, I but how old is Nikki? Cause like he, Nikki, Nikki looks like she's like, you know, a little bit older. Nikki looks like, like she like, could be on botched. Me with fresh eyes, like she's got like a hard look to her. Yes. Like, like a hard. Look. I noticed like, like the Jan um, like Janice Dickinson, like that, like that hard yes. Janice Dickinson look. Like, you know, like that, I, that, that I saw her. I'm like, oh my God, like that's Janice Dickinson's cousin. I didn't even know that she was trans. I, like I, I actually had to ask some people. I'm like, um, because I, then they said it. I'm like, oh, I had no idea. But she has like that hard, hard look to it, like that Janice Dickinson. She's, like I, 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 I led. Uh, she's forty-seven. A, a hard life. Look. Okay. You know, like I was doing like coke with Andy Warhol and Studio Fifty Four type of thing. Experience. Why do that, my first my takeaway? I don't know. Why do people always have, like Nikki Exotica? Like, why can't you just be Nikki Smith? That's her <laughs> last name, Exotica. She calls herself Million Dollar Barbie. That's like Dolores Van Cartier. Yeah. yeah like, I noticed her uh, neck looked, I guess, when she maybe had her neck shaved, the Adam's apple shaved down, um, it looked a little botched to me. Oh, wait. Was she actually on botched? Emily says she was actually on an episode. I think it didn't air though nikki was saying and others were that she was on botched oh hmm oh i have to google that because i'd like to know what yeah what was 
I'm kind of looking at her trying to figure out because something isn't, I don't know what it is. Well, I mean, like her, her nose has been overdone. Um, the lips. Yeah, she needs to lay off them fillers for a bit. Um, I mean, even Lisa nothing. Runner would say, girl, Lisa Runner would say, girl, them lips. Like, that's how bad those lips are. Like, no part of her face moves. Like, I'm happy that she can blink her eyes. <laughs> Man. I don't know. No, I save money by just having resting witch face all the time. <laughs> and I don't get wrinkles in my forehead. <laughs> I'm an angel, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Hold on. I age gracefully. Oh, Nikki was on the show nine years ago, but got kicked off. Um, oh, Lord. Terry I Dubrow know. actually fixed her breast. You know, like, like botch, like, you know, I, I used, we used to watch botch all the time. But like, you know, they always have like the one person that they bring on the show that they refuse to work on. And like, then don't film them. Like, don't like, you know what I mean? Like, they're like, oh, well, you want too much. And like, you're a joke because it, it, it makes them look better. But I'm sure when those cameras aren't rolling, they're like, okay, come back in. We'll get, we got you. You know what I like? It, it's like, I don't know. Oh Lord, I don't want a lawsuit from Heather Bro. Never mind. I love Botch and Terry and they, they and 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 Adrian's ex-husband. They're all great people. Um, we're good. <laughs> I love this. She says, um, transgender 90 day Nikki Exotic, uh, aka Nicole Sanders, is no stranger. She uh turns out Nikki's appearance on Botch, she was cut from like before it aired. And she lost everything that resulted in her being homeless. So how does her getting cut from the episode result in her being homeless? Did she have like a stick with like a bag at the end of it? Like Terry, DeBro Terry DeBro's office or a bust? Like maybe what? she was very distraught, said the video in July of 2014. And now, uh, no, shut up, John. Don't say that. Um, <laughs> so, um, so creepy guy, right? Creepy redheaded guy. Um, we found out was that the dude whose mom had to? Oh no, was creepy redheaded guy married with his wife's now pregnant? Yes, yeah, Sam and Citra. Yeah. Okay, so who was the dude who made his mom sleep in the closet? And that's Clayton and. Uh, I uh, I forgot her name. Uh, Clayton is him, and I can't remember her. What? Yeah, okay. no. <laughs> but uh, you know, you're not going to put your gerbils in the closet because they need ventilation. But you're going to allow your mother to I sleep. Think, I hate to say so it. You again. put like a cot in a walk-in closet. <laughs> I mean, like, I just, yay, she had a door at least. <laughs> I kind of think she put herself there. Sorry. I kind of think she liked the closed in space. I think she's, <laughs> and I think she kind of liked it. And I think well, she I mean, was, if okay I had the it. choice of a walk in closet versus like the <laughs> living room, I'll take the closet. At least I have a door. God, I miss my walk in closet or any closet for that fact. I haven't been in a closet in years. <laughs> <laughs> There's some stuff Go going on in that, in that, with mom and son. In my old that apartment, is, I had the walk in closet. Of like, yeah, I mean, you like know. A housewives walk in closet. God, yeah, God. you're not going to be doing the hibbity bibbity with, you know, mom in the broom. Just not. Hibbity bibbity. Oh, no, close the door. I'm in the, I'm, I lost I'm my life. Oh, no. Oh, but at least you have the door. I mean, you know. Make sure you penetrate her properly. Make sure you stim <laughs> make sure you stimulate the clitoris while you're, while you're observing her. And then I didn't like the one guy. Um, he had already gotten his green card. He's from Korea. And he calls his wife Piggy. Yeah, he calls his wife Piggy. And in Korea. Uh, can you call Devin and get the uh, 911 yeah, on that? I'll, I'll text Devin right now. Hold on. Yeah. Korea, you know, yeah. And, and Korea, calling Piggy is your loved one. Hey. That's that's what you call your beloved. 
natives, <laughs> no, natives of yeah. Korea use the word piggy as an endearment, term of endearment. Piggy. Yes, the 411. Thank you, Karen Johnson. Karen. Thank you, Karen. I don't know where it went, but thank you, Karen. That went to John. <laughs> as a term of endearment. You know, yesterday I woke up with a sty on my eye. Those are painful. But so I posted this on Facebook and someone was like, take white gold and put it on your eye like five minutes every 30 minutes. And I was like, so it was a family friend. And I'm like, no. And I said, OK, well, I'll try it. And he said, well, if it doesn't work, then Thursday when we come over, you can punch me. I said, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub my eye and then I'm going to chase you down. And I'm going to poke you in the eye. And he laughed. He was like, you are your father's child. So anyway, it did work. It's something about the alloys in the metal help extract the stuff in the sty. So fun fact, if you get a sty, the more you know, throw some white <laughs> gold on it five minutes every 30 minutes, wake up this morning and it's gone. All right. Did we get through like, all right. Enough more. Um, Thank you, Karen. Tell all enough. I, I, I know like that we really didn't do a comprehensive. Tell well, since I didn't see the last half hour. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't see the whole 17 episodes. <laughs> yeah. The last half hour was really um, when her mom got came, Nikki's mom came on and she was like, you know, how dare you, you know, treat my daughter like this. She is a woman. You know, and then Sean Flat asked her, well, what's going to have to happen for you to pull the K-1 visa? And she was like, I don't know. And he's like, well, I'm not coming to the interview. So she's like, fine, I guess I'll have to pull it then. <laughs> and then at the end, Jasmine told uh, Nikki, she said, well, maybe we're dating the wrong people. Maybe we need to go for women and. You know, there was a little flirtiness and who knows. <sighs> so can you guys tell what lawyer, what? can you tell us what the lawyer letter is now? What, huh? What lawyer letter? Yes. Can you guys tell us what the lawyer letter is now? I haven't yeah. watched 90. Sorry. What lawyer letter? Who said that? Who said that? What? MW is asking. Uh, okay, I can cover that in one second. Before we do, uh, I'll get there. Um, who are the people that faked the cancer? Were they on this show? Uh, oh, that was <laughs> no, not that was, they weren't on this yeah. season. They were on the previous before. Oh, oh so they were weren't on, they on this. the other way. Yes, they weren't on this season. Yeah, they were on the other way. Because I kept thinking in the back of my mind, I'm that, like, remember the fake cancer people. Okay. All right. Um, Annie, is that her name? Is it Annie? I think so. I forgot. Uh, yeah, Brandon. No, we'll Brandon get, and. We'll get there in a second. Give me one second. Let me just, um, um, so just. Mary. Mary. Mary there you go. Mind. Sorry to all the Annies. <laughs> that means don't have awkward silence. Okay. Oh, oh, no <laughs> awkward <laughs> We don't let that So for all the new people, this is my, my sweet doggy Grace, Gracie. And uh, she is a turd, let me tell you. Spoiled, spoiled. Is she a uh, uh, Yorkie? Yeah. Yeah, I had one. He was 16 and a half. Yeah. He was she only three pounds. He was so tiny. He lost one ear. His mama bit it off when he was born. Aww. So I got him at a discount. But he was adorable. Best dog ever. Until I got a, a, a Labradoodle. Now I found the best dog ever. <laughs> I'm sorry, Roxy, my other dog. <laughs> ah, Gracie is adorable. Very pretty baby. Thank you. She's a good so, guy. I have to mute myself for one second. I didn't get a quick phone call. Get just, okay. Just keep, okay. Keep on doing your goodness here. Hold on. <laughs> it, it's show related. It, it's live related. So I just want to give you the, the best. Thing okay. Okay. All right. Fabulous. So I'm trying to think of any other parts that really stuck out to me up to the half hour <laughs> that I got to. I was yeah. racing. 
I didn't, for some reason I spaced, I got caught up in being home and not I, my whole, I was, you know, I'm not doing anything now. So I woke up this morning going, I slept till 10. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm used to being up early. And so here I am trying to figure out. And then I went, oh, John asked me, you want a 90 day? And I went, <laughs> what? Which one? And he's all like, 90 day. I go, he asked oh, me, like, 90 day. I'm happened? like, has it started? And he was like, no, just the, uh, and I was like, I haven't watched. He was like, just the Jasmine fight. I'm like, okay. So actually, I think we did. I mean, there's a lot, there is a lot to cover in what we've seen just in, you know, J with Jasmine, she's enough in and of herself to do an entire show on. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see how this season plays out because the last we knew they were separated and she had moved to Miami. Somebody said that in the chat. Yes. Addie but then I had read somewhere where she said she loved Michigan. Miami reunion. Is that uh, MW? Is that Housewives? If so, yes. Oh my yes. God. Love uh, Miami. Miami reunions. I thought that's tomorrow or Probably. Wednesday. Or I may be behind on, I have to catch I know. Up. Uh, I watched the uh, two part Erica Bet It All on Bond. I still need to watch that. Yeah. It was good. Um, she, you know, talks, I, you see, like, of a more. You see the Erica Girardi side of her versus the Erica Jane and just what she's going through. And I enjoyed it. I wanted to also watch the housewife, the hustler and the housewife, because they said that's not very flattering. And I'm a, uh, my, my girl, EJ, I love her. And Lala, I love me some Lala too on Vanderpump. Wendy, yes, I finally. Um watched the seeking episode it took me i think three times i kept getting distracted my brain this weekend was very distracted but uh, i don't do well with change so i had to get through the change of you know my life so but i yeah i finally got it watched the, the seek she's like seeking sister wives yeah kind of like, was that on last night uh, when, yeah, I, I don't remember the days. I, I'm so bad about days, time, and all okay. that stuff. I just look at, I have it on DVR, and gotcha. Just, whenever it comes up, that's when I watch it. I do miss a DVR. Like, we've got them upstairs because they put in the um, lines for cable, and downstairs they didn't. I'm like, why? Um, but he was like, oh, no, we're not allowed to install them. They're not allowed to fish through the walls and stuff now. Yeah. So even if I wanted to DVR, I wouldn't have one. Keep holding. I'm sorry. It, it'll be worth it. I'm working on two different things right now. Live. I'm just, just keep talking. and talking There's about not it. much. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say about <laughs> I need that. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll be excited to see. The happily, um, I think they've got some good people coming back on it. So Devin, Devin's gonna be in the chat. I'm, I was just on the phone with Devin. I wanted to okay. Uh, Devin should be here in a second. Um, let me send her the link. Sorry, that's what I was working on. And I and I'm going to go back to the C and D thing in a second. But we wanted to just figure out, you know, all inclusive. You know, we're gonna cover everything. There's Devin. Hey, Devin. Hi, hey, Devin. Beauty. Devin, if you want the link um, to come up, I'll send it to you. But if, you know, if you're just it, being in the chat's okay, too. Uh, I'll text yeah. it to you. But, Devin, we were talking about, like, this whole piggy thing. And, you know, you were with Jahoon. Um, well, you know, uh, so is this whole, like, piggy thing like a, um, like a, something Herman you know, Van uh, affectionately Devin like you know because we're talking about the show and this guy keeps referring to his wife as what a little piggy as piggy yes oh okay yes I'm like why did he get oh that's right <laughs> sorry my memory is like <laughs> yeah and then he tried to say oh well you know in Korea it's a term of endearment right it's it's what you call your loved one. Yes, 
And she had, she did have, uh, she did lose some weight. I don't know how much she lost. Who else lost weight is Ashley. And I'm very proud of her. She lost 101 pounds and said so on the show. So I can yes, say. Yes, she did. From my I'm experience, proud of her. women in Korea to call mean names when they feel something needs to be fixed. Ow. So it's not like a hate butter it's cup. Not, it's not, it's not like a term of endearment. Oh, Karen. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for being your job. Thank you, Karen. Oh, like it's so, it's so rare. I have so many, like in my life, I've known so many people with birthdays on the 26th and the 28th, but not the 27th. So thank you, Karen. That means okay, the world. And like, you know, for those born on March 27th, me, that's most important. Mariah Carey, Quentin Tarantino, and Hi. And Vicky Gubbleson. So I mean, I'm, I'm with good people. Uh, so back back to Devin. Uh, my experience with male friends would say that about girls, they found unattractive in the face. So pretty much, Devin's saying it's not a term of endearment that somebody in Korea. Because yeah, he did you. make comments. He he. They asked him, so what do you think about Americans? And he said, well, he noticed that there's a lot of there's a lot of fast food <laughs> and, you know, you, you're, said the lazy, yeah. you're lazy and you don't cook because you're piggy. And I was, and it, but she's then he, she lost weight and he still calls her that. So it's become an, a nickname for him. But I, I think I heard her say that she, uh, this may be the part that I, that I didn't see in the um, last 30 minutes is that um, she didn't want it said out loud, right. like not in public. Uh, Cause I think I saw a little snippet of that or something like that. So she wasn't too thrilled that he was, uh, you know, saying it out loud. Yeah. And mom and dad were there. So mom and dad were really less than thrilled that he was saying it. So. In, and Devin says in Korea, they like to compare faces to animals such as dog, fox, and cat. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say Devin texted me. I'm going to read Devin's text to me um, right before she came. Okay. Goes, um, I've never heard it used in that way, like a lucky pig in other cultures. Koreans, from my experience, my exes, friends, would say piggy when someone was fat or they were referring to a girl that they were dating as not cute in the face. Usually with so pretty much the same connotation it has here. Um, usually with Korean men, they tend to call women white horse or piggy. It's not a good thing. A popular term Koreans would use was saying riding the white horse. Well, that means you're doing a little, hey, you're doing a little little nose candy. That's what, when someone's saying they're riding the white horse, that's how I take it. Uh, <laughs> do you want to ride the white horse? Remember yeah. that song? Now, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about that stuff. <laughs> uh, a popular term Koreans would use was saying, "Oh, right, um, it it was their way of trying to bang a white girl. Usually, a good compliment would be a tall nose, small face, or fox face. Koreans go off beauty by comparing face shapes to animals like dog or fox. If I was in Korea and someone called me piggy, it would be an insult. When I just gave birth, it was the only times I." was ever called over very overweight but once i lost the weight and fit into a in, into a small over there i was still considered heavier the beauty standards are insane so there you go so there that in no way was a uh a compliment or a term of year. Devin says but to be fair in korea it's very normal point out flaws so it's cultural differences in korea most koreans don't see it as offensive but more of helping them to want to improve and i i can understand that too that is very fair devin you devin's so fair look at her a real troubadour a real troubadour of truth devin Quagas. my my good friend devin i love her so much give me one second because now we're now we're going to go into the next part of this live the c and d give me one second <laughs> Well, I'm here. I'm going mobile. Sorry, I was trying to pick something out of the chat to see 
What, uh, we, my husband and I only call each other honey. I don't even call each other anything but that. I don't like to be called by my name, my by my husband. I prefer honey. <laughs> I just think it's weird. I don't like hearing my name. It's weird. But Devin, what are girl, you? We have to do a live together soon. It's been a minute. You need to update us on everything that's going on in your life. A good compliment. I'm Devin. Devin's Devin. my love. <laughs> I'm Devin's actually older than Devin and her mother, which makes me feel really bad about myself, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Devin, you're you're all, uh, Jew. We need you back up here to give us an update about how is uh, Tae Young doing? How is Tae Young doing? The cutie, he is so cute. I hope. Yeah, we need updates, Devin. That that would be actually really nice. Yes. Yes, please hit the like button oh, on both channels, please. Oh, he's gonna ring the bell when he gets out. That's the saddest. Like it's it's like the happiest, saddest thing. Like when you see like the people leave the hospital and like all the like the, like the nurses are there and like they all ring the bell and they walk out. That's like the like oh I watch those like when I want like a good happy cry I'll watch those videos, um, because those are just the most amazing videos. So let's all pray that that happens and yes. uh, you know high five to Devin. I like this poor I don't great job, know, Mama. You have been through all of it, Devin, and you and she's still in her twenties. I, I don't know how she handled any of the stuff that was thrown at her. Um, lucky to call her my friend. So, with that being said, oh Lord, you're all you're all going off screen when I go in the next room. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh, they say, John, you're on your own. Okay, all right. So, um, <laughs> I'm eating some Cheetos, so I'm muting myself. Devin, I don't watch the season. I, I didn't. I didn't watch the season, but I saw clips of Devin, and I think she, I, went through a similar experience for, as me with fake stories and producers, causing issues. Love you too, sweetheart. And you have to have. You have to be. We'll do a separate thing, and then me and you, and then you know, you gotta tell everybody what's going on in your life. All right. I'm back. So there are questions about uh, C&D that was sent out, I guess. Um, I'm unaware of the C&D, so. I don't have a clue which. <laughs> Am I, can you, can you still hear me? Am I muted? I didn't drop out, okay. Good for this, for this trip. All right, so. Uh, D&D letters were sent out today by Angela to cast members or cast member. I don't believe it's plural. And I think more are on their way. But Cynthia. <laughs> Cynthia, Molly's old ex-best ex friend. Uh, got slammed with a C and D today from Angela, and then another YouTuber slash Instagrammer to bits uh, posted it on their IG, and which I think was the most idiotic thing you could have done, but uh, posted it on posted it on their IG to make fun of Angela. Um, okay, so let's talk about it. Cynthia has uh, been making the rounds as of late. She's been, I think she got fired off the show in 2022. Uh, 
her and Molly were doing a pillow talk together, and then um, you know the the whole thing between Molly and Cynthia and, and Kelly that that all happened, and um, Cynthia hasn't been on the show since, and Molly has, so you know you you could tell what side production was on on that one. And why is it always like the friend of the friend of the show who's always trying to make waves like Cynthia or Jojo Disney? Like, it's always like not the star, but like, you know, the sidekick, the Ed McMahon. Mm-hmm. Cynthia is like the Ed Mc- the, the, the second banana on this, on this one. So Cynthia, you know, when the whole Angela thing happened, I was down there in Georgia, obviously, and you know we were listening to the horrible things that Cynthia was, and Cynthia was hopping from panel to panel to panel. And like the sad thing, Cynthia, you fool, is that like you were going on other people's fa- panels, and you were helping them make money off what you were saying. That that's the idiot part of the whole thing, idiot. <laughs> like you know if. If you you know, and Cynthia, let's not forget, was had everything she owned on. Um, I don't want to say eBay, but uh, I remember on IG she was like, you know, selling her house, selling her car, selling this because, according to the the people in the street over there in Georgia, uh, Cynthia was living well above her means. So. Uh, you know, I guess I, I don't know how much they pay on Pillow Talk. I know how much TLC tr- traditionally pays people, and it's not a lot. But um, so I guess Cynthia thinking that she was on Pillow Talk for like a couple of seasons and what she was a boss and got a very expensive house that she can't afford, a car that she can't afford. She was selling boots, accessories, clothes to keep her you know, to keep her head above water. And I've certainly been there, but I've certainly also not ever lived above my means. Like, you know, I would love to like live in a million dollar house. Um, and that might last a week, but then I, you, you got to face reality and realize that you can't pay for that. And, um, for me to see Cynthia and like Cynthia is not even going on like big, big channels. She will literally like go to like the opening of an envelope to like go and talk badly about either Molly or Angela or her, or anybody else who wants to throw a little attention her way. And it's just sad. So Cynthia gets hit because Cynthia couldn't control herself because, you know, like like Cynthia and Angela ever met. Like they were like this, like they were good friends, like. Cynthia does not know anything about Angela other than what she saw on the show, just like everybody else. And then she, and we were there and I'm like, I cannot believe Cynthia is saying the thing she's saying. Um, so, and you know, and to, to prove the point, Cynthia, what goes on another channel, which was named in the C and D where the average views per live, are 232. You have to go on some losers YouTube channel where the most views they get on any live is a little over 200. That's how desperate you are, Cynthia, to like get your name going. That's how desperate you are to be live with 30 people watching you. That's sad. It's really fucking sad, Cynthia. It really is. But you can't stop yourself. And it's, again, there's so many comparisons. So many. You know, it's the same thing JoJo Disney did with Angela. Like, oh, they fell out. And now JoJo Disney, a side character of the show, much like Cynthia, has been spending the last, what, two years trying to defame JoJo Disney, trying to defame Angela, Cynthia, trying to defame Molly. And that's what they've been doing. And now, if you give them any type of platform, like, I'll, you know what, Cynthia, I'll, I'll give you, like, you know, a Subway sandwich if you come up on my channel and talk about herpes. And she'll, she'll be here in a hot fucking second. So, 
I don't get that. And then B, I don't get this kibitz page that not only posted the C and D that Cynthia, Cynthia, what are you doing? What are you doing? Did you really get served with that C and D and then give it to the kibitz page to post what it clear as day says? Let me read this. Hold on. Hold on. Give me one second. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get this so I read it correctly. <laughs> Critterly. <laughs> she says, I mean, I'll talk about anything you want for a quesadilla. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I'll pay you a chicken vagina if you want to come here. <laughs> And in this thing, that's war in like the kibitz page. You you guys are idiots. I'm not even trying to be like, you know, you're a fool by watermarking this because now you're dragged into this. You watermarked it. This is like blogging 101, man. You only watermark something that you are sure that it's your original content. Like... You don't watermark a C and D that says this is our copyrighted C and D. This cannot be posted anywhere. And here you are watermarking it. What is wrong with you? I mean, Lord, I've made my mistakes as a blogger, but like I've never watermarked something that should not, you know, you, you you go to the watermark when like you know that this is your content nobody else can steal it you're the first person on earth to share this that's when you use the watermark and right here i'll read a, a part of the c and d it says finally please be advised that we own the copyright to this letter and therefore nor no portion of this letter may be reprinted, excerpted, ex exerted, or quoted without the express written permission of the undersigned, meaning the attorney who owns the, who owns the C and D. And you are here posting it and watermarking it. So Kibitz, welcome to the lawsuit that you're about to get from your own stupidity because you want to be a big shot blogger and I, 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 like, am I crazy? Like, this is insane. No. And Cynthia was the one, clearly, because it got mailed to Cynthia's house. Cynthia sent it to them. And then it's, and again, I, you know, I have to assume that they read this. Or maybe they didn't. Maybe no. they just saw something. That they're like, oh, look, it's tea. It's, it's mouth-watering. And right above it, they watermark it. They, watermarking it is saying it's their property. It's their copyright. It's 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 theirs. Not right. And Not notice how idea. Cynthia didn't post it, because Cynthia saw it and realize well now i can't talk about it, so let me give it to these two idiots they'll do it and what and and then they go they there they go they they they, they sure did they posted it is and it like, the two I village I, idiots that i think you're thinking of what is it the two village idiots that i think you're thinking of i don't know honestly like you know i don't really have a okay. i don't have any animosity towards them honestly i, I okay. i'm actually shocked you know that like a blogger would have the hubris to post this and then oh okay like you know i've posted stuff i shouldn't have posted before right and but they post it and then on top of it they watermark it you know posting it okay you know it, it you know then they could have said like you know if they just posted it oh well i saw this on the street i saw it on, they could lie i saw this on reddit that I saw this letter somewhere else and I just reposted it because uh, I'm a blogger and, you know, it was making fine. But no, you, you dumb idiots. 
you watermarked it and now you're going to be in trouble. Like, and it's not like me threatening people with attorneys, which I have, and I'm, in, I'm still in court now. But like, you know, if you don't think Angela has the resources and the wherewithal to have attorneys go after people, y'all are fucking idiots. You know, it's it, this is not an empty threat by any means. So good luck to you guys, uh, Kibitz. I guess you'll be in court soon because you can't do that. And Cynthia, you're in as much trouble too because you gave this to somebody else who... They, they named you in the C&D. So Cynthia's bright idea in her stupid head, and I'm sorry, but it's stupid, like thinking, well, I got served with the C&D, and their channel is listed in the C&D, but you know what? Let me give the C&D to the channel that was listed in the C&D so they can post it on my behalf. I... Yep. Am I crazy? And taking it down is not going to fix the situation. No, it's already it's been done. Up. It's already out there. It's already so. up. Yep. You're fucked. <laughs> Sorry. You know, and you live in Queens. Like they already have, they already know who you are. Right? So you're screwed. All because what you wanted to get a, 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 a couple thousand views over this whole Angela Michael stuff because you couldn't help yourself. And Cynthia, look at Cynthia, what you're doing. And Cynthia knows how to use a blogger because she was on the show, right? And you know, Lord, thank God I have the wisdom of being at this for 10 years. So I know, I know when a cast member is using me to use me. And people are saying, oh, oh, Angela's using you, John. She was so disrespectful of you on the live. Oh, yeah. Listen, when, when I feel when I'm at that, at that way, you know me. I will always say something. All I know is that, um, actually, I can't answer that. I knew C&Ds were going out. I'll say that. And I will say plural. I don't know who else. And, and maybe that's the only one. I don't know, but I knew, I knew, I knew that after when we were there at that house, when when Cynthia was going from panel to panel, and Cynthia was just saying like the the world's most rancid shit about Angela. Like meanwhile, like like you you're talking about her, like you know her in real life. And it, what Cynthia was saying was bad. So I don't I don't blame Angela one bit for doing it. The funny thing to me is that Kibitz decided to post this when it's saying explicitly that you can't post it. This is our copyright. This letter is our copyright letter, and therefore this portion of this letter may not be reprinted, exerted, or quoted without the express written permission of the undersigned being the attorney. So now you just screwed over an attorney. <laughs> you did. He commits did. They did by posting it. And now the attorney is going to come after them because they didn't have the permission. And Cynthia, good luck to you, sweetheart, because Cynthia, I'm just going to say this, and you know I'm telling the truth. This isn't the first time you got a C&D against you, right, Cynthia? Right, Cynthia? This is not your first foray into the C and D business because I'm pretty sure that you've gotten one before for you opening up your trap and trying to still be relevant because you kicked off the show, you're poor, you're broke, you're selling your boots, your fingernails, your house, your trailer, to stay relevant, right, Cynthia? Not the first time you got a C and D, is it? But I digress.
Mm-mm-mm. So do I, Barbie. I, Barbie says she loves Molly. I love Molly. I love that you no. that live you did with her was really good. And all I see, speaking of Molly, is Molly working her ass off. Molly is still promoting her business, her brand. Like, you know, Molly has not stopped being Molly, fitting robust breasts into brassiers. <laughs> <laughs> um and now Cynthia, I guess if she's trying to like work for some like weird random bra place, but that you know, Molly was the person. Um, you know, Molly hasn't stopped working. And you know what I see Cynthia doing? Going from YouTube channel to, and like not even good YouTube channels, not even like good IG pages, like the lowest of the low, because that's what you are, Cynthia. You, you, you are who you hang with. And that's why nobody with a bigger platform, Cynthia, will have you on there because I know I'm not that desperate. And also, um, Cynthia also said this about um, on, on one of those lives that she was doing uh, that In Touch won't report on all the horrible things that Cynthia said about Molly because. TLC and Sharp are paying in touch off. I'm paraphrasing, but that's what she said. Um, and, you know, because people are like, Cynthia, like, why is no one reporting on, like, how horrible Molly is and the things you say? Because her opinion is worth zero. And to counteract that, Cynthia, I have been quoted in uh, on in touch in Utah. In, in oh my jesus i have been quoted in in touch for years for as long as i've been blogging and uh i have never not once ever been on the payroll for tlc or sharp So, I mean, and, and I've also never been on the show. So you tell me, Cynthia, who, who's really paying off in touch? Because if, if, if that was the case, I'd never be mentioned in their, in their magazines and um, magazine. And I think I've been probably, I've, been, I've probably been quoted in touch more than any other magazine. If I'm thinking about it, I think in touch is probably the one I've been in the most. So for you to say that in touch is paid off by sharp and TLC, and that's why they won't let your word out about Molly out. That's a, just a complete lie. So there's that. And like, you know, and then she's asking people to put money in a tip jar because she can't work. Why can't you work Cynthia? Why, why, why can't you work? Why? Because you're better than everybody else? Because you were on a couple of seasons of Pillow Talk and now you're a celebrity? Why can't you talk? Why can't you work? And you can talk, that's for sure. Sorry. Why can't you work? I, I, don't, I don't understand it. You worked all those years with Molly in, in the business and now what? Like, are you retired? And again, I have to circle back to the point that that if Cynthia had like you know if, if, she, if she had like a a a a, a, peen, a, a, like a like this like a little bit in her brain, she would have realized that maybe she could start her own Patreon or or uh, her own YouTube channel where she wants to be a boss and a baller and talk about all these people. At least the money is going in her pocket that way. But no, she goes on everybody else's thing. And speaks for free, and you wonder why you're broke. Like I, I'm sorry, it's like I, I don't I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you, Cat. Well, like, you know, we'll have to come to Fargo soon. I, I didn't even read the super chat. I was in, I was in my moment. 
Um, but yeah, so, and this is not Cynthia's first foray into getting served with a C and D. And Cynthia has been silenced before because Cynthia can't control her mouth. And you can come for me all you want, Cynthia. I don't care. Because I have been more relevant than you've ever been. I've been around for 10 years. You were around for like two. And people still watch and follow me. And the only time people care about you is when you're talking lies on someone's low-grade channel. <laughs> <coughs> and that's that. <coughs> she just cursed me. I just felt, I just felt the curse. <laughs> going right through my system um, <laughs> that's it so uh yeah you know it, it, i think everybody could see it you know i i know everybody has these blinders on about angela nobody wants to you know give her any type of credence you know if you don't like her you don't like her and there's no there's no trying to convince anyone's mind even when I posted the like the text, like a little bit of text and, and the audio of Michael, it really didn't change anyone's mind. You're gonna hate Angela, then you know, you're gonna hate her. Uh, but there's always more to the story. And somebody else told me recently last night that uh, you know I should separate my my business and my friendship. And let me just speak on that for one second because if you've been following me for a long time or even recently you will know that i do build relationship with cats and i do i do hang out with them in, in in real life and um you know i see them differently than y'all do because you watch them on tv and i see them in their real life when cameras aren't rolling and i see them for the people that they are so for me, it gives me a different perspective than most because, you know, all these other bloggers, bloggers on IG who just report on like what they heard or a C and D they saw or a clip from the show, you'll never have like the experiences that I've had with these people. And that's why, like in Angela's case, I'm so vocal in her defense because I know she deserves better than that. Like just, I think today or yesterday, somebody actually, the sloth actually did post, you know, her 911 calls and put her address out there. And they forget that she has like, you know, six grandkids in there at all times. That's okay. You know, it's Angela. So whatever bad comes Angela's way, I guess her, her, her daughters and her grandchildren deserve it. And it, it's just shitty. Um, you know, if you have a vendetta with me, which the people that are doing this do, you know, they're, now they're using Angela as a way. And it, it's just really not cool. You know, um, now, you, now you're putting somebody's grandkids in jeopardy because you want to be a boss on YouTube. For what? For, for the, the 600 views you get from it? So... I don't know. All I know is that Cynthia is a giant cloud chaser. And, um, and Kibitz is stupid for allowing for allowing her to post the scene. And, you know, let me see, let me check on this one, one more time, real quickly, and I'm gonna get shit, but you know, I don't care anymore. Um, and all this post got was 266 likes, which was posted five hours ago. Was And like, you know, you're not making money from Instagram posts, Kibitz. I know you're not, because I'm not. And nobody else is. Um, well, now you just put it out there, Karen. So like, now I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> you ruined it. <laughs> Well, <laughs> but you know, all this for, for, for what, 266 likes and 45 comments from five hours ago and you watermarked it. So 
So I guess we're not going to North Dakota. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, yeah, like that—that—that's th- that, what this means. This this fame, and now you put yourself up by posting this to get sued by from an attorney on, which you know attorneys are attorneys, and once you cross them, oh, I feel sorry for you. So, um, and Cynthia should have known better because she's been down this road before. And that's pretty much, I think, the gist of what I wanted to say, because I know the whole, I, I'm getting blown up with the DMs and everything um, about the thing, but it is what it is. Um, they're fools. And you just don't do that. So any other questions before we end this live? We're almost at the two hour mark. So it's like the lightning round. Oh, it's 1130. I hate calling live so late. Um, it's the lightning round, 1130. Any, uh, any other quick questions or comments or anything? Yeah, I agree with Coco on that. Yep. Am I yep. muted? Can you hear me? Nope, you're fine. Yeah. You're, okay. you're good. After show. Like, I mean, like, come on. It's like the stupidest thing. Yeah. How do you watermark a lawyer's copyrighted letter? And these, and these, the bits, they're supposed to be smart. How do you do that? that that's asking for it. Thank you, Wendy. Good to be here. I probably will be here a lot. Unless. <laughs> you know and like lastly like cynthia wants to post inspiration things like you know there's nothing worse like than the passive aggressive like inspirational quote god i hate those i do i i hate i because you know you know it's like who are they talking about oh just say it i mean like we like we know who you're talking about just say it. So, whatever. I'm good. Um, hope this was uh, after show. I don't know. After show? Sure. Did we lose Wicked? Yeah, it's late for her. She's probably sleeping. <laughs> we drop her down. Good night, Wicked. We- Started like late tonight, nine thirty. Um, but uh, after party show, you guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, we'll do an after show. Uh, but I, I, I hope that like you know when when I had this live schedule tonight, I didn't think it was gonna go this way. But I'm I'm really happy that it did. Um, so I, I, you know, I think a lot came out from this live, a lot of, I'm I'm really happy with it, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, we'll do an after show. Let me, um, let me, thank you, Rita. And, um, we will, uh, give me, what time is it? 1134. We so we got to start going live earlier. We just have to. Yes, please. This over here, Rita, is all my yarn. I crochet. That's what that is. So in case anybody's, what the heck is that? <laughs> yarn. All right, we'll go into more detail on the end to show how crazy Cynthia is, and uh, <laughs> I guess I don't know, and Jasmine, and what, and, and whatever. So I'm gonna end this one. Uh, you guys, uh, to all the members, I will see you. It'll be middle tier, 90 day fiance level and up. Um, I will see you guys in a few minutes and thank you for being here. Bye everybody. Bye.